hi everyone welcome to another interesting tutorial i'm yinky and uh, in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to sew a princess bustier blouse sometimes ago i uploaded the pattern drafting tutorial of this same video so i'm going to leave the link in the description box so that you'll be able to access the video so here i'll be showing you how to sew this top that you are seeing on the screen so this is the pattern that i used to make this so i have added half inch sewing allowance on this neckline and two inches sewing allowance on the hemline so you can see the the added allowance that i added on the hemline that's the m allowance so the m allowance is two inches so here on the main fabric you can see that i put um fusible interfacing so to give the fabric a kind of um support so that's why I put the feasible interfacing because it's a, it's a bustier blouse. So I need a kind of um, support on the blouse so that it will be firm. So here is my lining. The lining is, um, I cut the lining just the way I cut the main fabric, but the lining is shorter in length than the main fabric. So I put paper stay. So it is paper stay I put on the lining and I put Fusible interfacing, which is called SD in Nigeria, on the main fabric. So I have my fabric and my lining. And what I'll go do now is to cut my padded material because I'm going to pad the bust area. So I have gotten my breast point to be 10.5, under bust to be 14. So that's what I just showed you. So I'm going to use this material. So this is called. Um, you, you can you can still we use it has different type of um, grade so we have the hard hard wording and we have the soft wording but this one is just like a medium wording it's not too hard so you can go for whichever one you like so because i'm not going for the the this is not too hard it's just like a medium so it's not too soft and it's not too hard so you are going to feel the texture when you get to the market just ask for wording and they will give you the one that you like you can feel the texture of the one you like so i just measured four inches up and down so the the total length of the pad will now be eight inches so i'll just curve it up on the side like so and that's what i'm going to cut so i make the width to be four inches also here yeah? and i made uh, i'll just curve it up like i'm trying to draw beam so after i have done that um it's just like a shape of a cowpea so la after i've drawn this out drafted the 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 shape of the pad i will cut the same the same size i can call the same size of um add stay i can use add stay to support this wording because this wording is not too hard so when I'm using add stay to stop support it or color stay to support it, I won't allow it to get to my sewing allowance on the bust area. So I'm trying to mark the breast point so that I will be able to match the breast point on the center front. This is my center front. So I have cut the part for the side. So the part for the center front is what I want to draft out now. So the same measurement I took the other time, four inches up and four, four inches down and four inches up. So I started from the breast point, four inches from the breast point, four inches above the breast point and below the breast point. That's what I just measured. So the breast point will be at the middle. So the four, four inches will now be at the below and the above. So I have eight inches all through. Then I will just curve it up also. I will curve it up at the side also. Or you can, you can reduce, you can curve it up at the side or you can just take the full measurement so that the pad will be firm. So I just take the full measurement here so, so that it will just cover the, the whole center front. So after I have cut it out, this is what I have. I took my breast point again so that I'll be able to match it on the fabric. And I'll open it up to the wrong side. The, the side that has gum, because this wording always have a gum on one side. You place the side that has gum on the fabric. So, so that I will now go and use it like iron to press it. So iron will gum it to the fabric. So that's what I just did. And after I've done that, I'm going to, to start sewing. I'm sewing, I'm stitching the center front. When I get to that part, this is the back. The side back and the center back is what I just stitched together. 
as a whole piece, a single piece now. You know, it's a panel um, a blouse. So after I have done that, I will go to the front. So the front panel also, I will stitch the side panel to the center front panel. I told you I have the pattern drafting of this same video on my channel. It is a very detailed video that when you when you watch it, you will understand how I arrived at all this. So I will notch the center front. I will notch the breast point and also the under bust so that it will, the bust will be able to form very well. So I, after I have done that, I will now stitch with half of an inch. So I'm trying to stitch with half inch sewing allowance that I put there. So you can see that if you look, it, look at it very well, I put add stay on the pad. But the add stay didn't get to the sewing allowance. So as to give it that strong and, and firm structure so that the, the bust will be able to stand well. So that's what I just did there. And this is what I have. You can see it's beautiful. And what I have done on one side, I will do to the other side. And I will have my padded blouse and this is what i have i have my padded blouse ready so i just stitch the way i did for the first side so here is my lining here is my lining for the front and um, i have stitched join it together the way just the way i joined the, the main fabric together so here i'm going to use my lining to turn the neckline so i'll place the neckline on each other so i have placed the fabric and the lining together and i'm trying to turn my neckline with lining so i will notch so as to make sure the neck relax very well so after i have notched i will top stitch on the lining and i have my neckline turned already the next thing to do is to come to the hemline of the dress so i'm putting a um, crinoline we call it crinoline so i'm putting like it's the width, the width of this crinoline is like one inch. So I'm putting the crinoline on the M line because I want the M line to have a kind of um, a wavy and um, standing structure. So I want it to have a kind of structure and balance. So that's why I'm putting crinoline on the hem. So this is how I applied my crinoline. It's just one inch crinoline. I prefer to go for one inch crinoline because it's always, um, it has this firm structure. It's, it's it's firm it's more firm than other inches so that's why i go for the one inch crinoline you can also go for two inches crinoline it's fine if that is what you have available so uh the the next thing to do is to turn the side so the way the reason why i'm turning the side i this is not an inseam finishing i prefer to do this because if i'm sewing for a client and there is adjustment i'll be able to do that so that's why i did that so i'm done with the front and this is the back i'm turning the back also the neckline of the back the neckline of the back is high neckline it's not a low neckline as you can see so i notch the neckline and the same thing i did at the front i will top stitch on the lining and and after i have top stitch on the lining i will also turn the sides and after turning the sides i will give it a nice press i'll give it a nice press and input my zipper so what i have done to one side of the back i do to the other side so here, I want to input my zipper. I want to close this side up a little. I don't want it to be a kind of open and close. So that's why I'm closing the hemline of the back. This is the, the back bodies. I close it up a little. And this is my sewing allowance. The zipper allowance, I mean. So I'll open up my zipper allowance and place my zipper like so. So uh, since I have closed up a part at the downside, it will be very easy. To, it won't be the the zipper will be like open and close anymore so i'll just stitch down this is a proper way of applying your zipper if you don't know how to apply your zipper or how to put your zipper there are videos on my channels that can explain that to you so i just go ahead and fix my zipper like so so the excess zipper will be cut off you can see that the excess is on the upper part so i will just go ahead the remaining zipper that the excess zipper the length i'm going to either fold it in or just cut it off after i have um, repaired after i fix the zipper so i'll just go ahead and do that in this video so if you are interested in some of our courses you can just contact the numbers on the screen and i'm going to reply you as soon as possible so here i'm still on my zipper fixing i'm still trying to fix my zipper 
So don't mind the way I'm using my hand to cut the thread. I think this is the fastest way. And when I start a project, I, I always feel like finishing the project just immediately. So I'm not just, I'm always in a haste. So that's why I don't even wait for six hours. So don't mind me if... So after I have done this, the next thing to do is to turn the, the shoulder. What I'm doing here is to turn the shoulder. So I have used the shoulder to turn each other. And um, you need to make sure that when you are turning the shoulder with the shoulder, you must make sure it is firm. Make sure it is very firm so that it will be neat. So, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to arrange the 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 lining and the main fabric together so that they will stay in place and this is my shoulder has been turned and after i have turned my shoulder to shoulder i will go ahead and input measurements the body measurement will be input at this point since the back and the front is ready and the shoulder to shoulder has been turned the next thing is to just input your body measurement and um, after that you fix your sleeve so, and the main purpose of this video is just to show you how I sew this panel blouse together, how I joined it together. And uh, I think the objective of this um, video has been achieved. So here we have the outcome and the outcome of the blouse is this. As you can see, it's looking very beautiful. Please don't forget to like, share this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to get more of this video until then i will see you in my next video bye